Utah's Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument is as beautiful as it is desolate, as mesmerizing as it is daunting. For five youth ambassadors from North America, it will be the setting for a life-changing adventure. Each day our youth ambassadors wake up from their camp. They prepare their bags, they take off running. The goal is to run an average of a marathon a day. That's what the route in this case of this expedition has worked out to be. Okay, so you guys can let her know. The team is led by ultramarathoner Ray Zahab. Inspired by his own life-altering experiences, learning about history and cultural challenges while running all around the globe, Zahab created the organization Impossible to Possible. True to its name, Impossible to Possible aims to empower youth to reach beyond their perceived limits through adventure. Head him out! Yeah. It's the first day of this eight-day expedition, and as always happens on these youth expeditions, it's a slow start to the day. You know, something that's really common on these first days is you see very little nervous jitters. Utah! Utah! The reality is every single one of them is wondering what's going to happen, how hard is this going to be. In addition to pushing themselves farther and harder than ever before, the group will expand their mind, intimately exploring their new habitat. The theme of this expedition is Earth Sciences, and we're here because this is a hotbed, right, for fossil activity. And though only a handful of ambassadors will experience this in person, it's like a childhood dream. You get to find dinosaur footprints? Come on, it's gonna be cool. I2P ensures the educational opportunity is not just limited to the runners. Along the way, there will be live video conference broadcasts with students in classrooms all over the world. That's a good question. How many calories do you need to eat each day? Oh, oh, so many. <laughs> We're going back 250 million years, and the youth ambassadors on the expedition and the students in the classroom are taking a run through time, and they're spanning that 250 million years. So by the end of the expedition, we're actually going to end up in modern time. This is a stalk of, a, of an animal that's called a crinoid. And, um, are they still around? Yeah, they are. The but reality is meters. every single one of them is wondering what's going to happen, how hard is this going to be, how are we going to run and do the educational component that we have to do. They have some big surprises waiting for them. Xander, where are you? Are you uh, still on the trail? Is everything okay? Yes or no? Is everything okay? Early in the expedition, the spectacular size of Grand Staircase will lead to a less obvious problem, communication. Not sure if they've uh, made a navigational error. Ray got a little concerned at the end not seeing us. None of us have really done anything like this before or anything close to stuff like this, so we had no idea what would happen. In this barren landscape, the heat, wildlife, and the passage of time need to be fully considered. But before the problems escalate, members of the expedition support group will move in and track the youth ambassadors down. Why don't we head back to the tent? Let's get you guys in some Just shade. Kidding. Hands up while you're walking. I don't get it. Just get the circulation back on? Yeah. In the end, despite an action-packed expedition filled with environmental danger, emotional stress, and physical challenges, five youth ambassadors accomplished what many might consider impossible. This experience has been very humbling. Kind of puts you in your place and realize, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can't control. This is something really neat, and I'd have fun doing it forever. <laughs> inspiring themselves and others in the process. I do feature